Hello, my name is Harshal Desai. I'm Wesley Ahar. And I'm Nick Beatty. And this is our cyberbullying PSA. For the research portion of this PSA, we had interviewed Mr. Rich Curtis for tips and advice. Mr. Curtis is a coordinator of our school TV show called Red Alert, and he was also a guest host on Live with Kelly. From there, we watched real PSAs for general idea on formatting. We also researched special techniques with editing softwares and also necessary equipment for filming. Finally, we, used, we tried to research latest filming techniques, for example, slide shots and switching angles. So the beginning of our design process was the brainstorming session. And so what we did was we got together and we just kind of threw around ideas of, of how we wanted our PSA to generally look and what kind of themes we wanted to include in it. And then from there, we be began to script out what was going to happen, including the different scenes and different camera angles we wanted to include. And from there, we began to work on the communications to get in contact with different actors that we needed and to plan the dates that we were actually going to film. And after that, what we did was we began to gather the materials, such as the cameras that we had to borrow from the school and the microphones. And then finally, we were able to actually do the filming and move on to the editing process. In the editing process, we had to incorporate a variety of different softwares. One essential software that we used was Google Docs, which was really collaborative so that we could brainstorm and bounce ideas off of each other while working simultaneously. We also used a software that could download images and music from YouTube. Um, and then for our base, we used Adobe Premiere, which, was, which is a motion editing and a color correction program that synthesized all our clips into one. So some of the equipment we used was the Sony A6000, and this was the main camera that we used for a majority of our filming. We also used a tripod to keep the camera steady, and a zoom mic, which was used to record the voiceover audio that is present in our PSA. And finally, we used a camera slider to get panning shots. This is our 30-second PSA. Over 58% of kids are victims of cyberbullying. Over 70% of students report seeing it online, but do nothing about it. Help us pull the plug on cyberbullying once and for all. Throughout our video, we used a variety of different techniques. We used bold titles and dramatic music. Um, we used this music because we wanted it to be really emotional and we timed it up with the transitions of our clips in order to match the beats. We also used varying camera techniques such as sliding and panning, as in this shot of the iPhone. We used a zoom shot to capture our audience's attention and focus it over onto one key aspect that we wanted them to take away and remember from our film. And we used thematic b-roll, such as the hands typing on the keyboard. We used extreme close-ups and over the shoulders to create a dynamic view for the viewer. We also used voiceovers to narrate our statistics and facts that we wanted the audience to remember about cyberbullying and how important it is. We timed the video with the music, like I said earlier, and we included transitions between clips in order to make it have a smooth flow and really appeal to the eyes. As far as copyright information, all of the video used in our project were original shots by us. And the background music that we used, we got off of YouTube. And the person gave us permission to use the, feel free to use the song, and that it was no copyright. And then this work cited has all the pictures and research we did to create this project. Thank you for listening.